Hey guys, my name is Mike Bacchino. I am the director of the root setting program for USA Climbing, and we're gonna show you some demonstrations of the new starting positions in accordance with the IFSC rules. There are five combinations of starting positions, and we're gonna go through each one with you and demonstrate them for you. This is an example of two points of contact on one hold and two points of contact on another hold. Just as a note, those points of contact are either hands or feet. This one is also a special case where, according to the new rule, I'm allowed to touch any part of the climbing surface, as long as it's not any of the unmarked holds, to establish control in the starting position like this. Uh, here's an example of one point of contact on four holds starting position. Okay, here's an example of two points of contact on one hold and one point of contact on two other holds. Note that the tape goes to the volume. There's screw-ons on the volumes you're, they're allowed to use just like our old rules. Anything on this volume, since the volume is taped, is part of the start. Here's an example of three points of contact on the one hold and one point of contact on this hold. So I'll have one hand and two feet, or two hands and one foot here, and one other point of contact on this. This start is an example of all four points of contact on one hold. Note again that the hold is everything that is on this volume because that's screwed to the volume so it counts as part of the hold. These two screw-ons also are counted as part of the four points. Just a note on the starting position, um, any of the marked starting holds, I can spend as much time climbing around in the starting position as I need to, to establish two points on this and two points on this, like so. If you're in a gym that uses tape to mark your boulders, this is what we need to do for marking the four point start and the top. Uh, you'll start with a base layer of tape. So I've chosen orange. So all of the holds on my whole boulder are taped with orange. The top, all the holds in the middle, as well as the start. And then on the starting position, I have the green pieces, noting one, two, three, four points of contact. I also have green tape marking the top. So if you're gonna be taping boulders in your gym, remember it's also in the rule book for reference, um, a base layer of tape that's gonna be different than the boulders around it, and a layer of tape that's different than the base layer marking the starting position and the top. If you have any questions about any of this, uh, root setting related questions about the virtual QE series, uh, please feel free to reach out to either myself at USA Climbing or anyone else at USA Climbing. They'll definitely get you to the right person.